Hey guys, I'm Moon, and welcome to today's episode of Map Awareness, the show that covers all things League and a bit more. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the NALCS playoffs, Elements roster speculations, and a little bit of ELO Mingle. Let's go! This week's NALCS playoffs has proven that history can repeat itself. After CLG's downward spiral put them in third, they had a lot to think about to start their playoff run. A run that was cut short by the monster that is Team Liquid. Team Liquid, unlike CLG, have been underperforming all splits, so it came as quite a surprise when they sweep CLG in a 3-0 victory. After an interview with Dominate, Team Liquid's jungler, he stated that, Nah, let's just show him. Phoenix, he also had the sort of like expectation coming in with your team. Everyone was like, Phoenix, the solo queue god. And I know that you talked about this before, but like what exactly happened to where the, I don't know if it was like a case of like uh, nervousness coming out on the stage or him just not wanting to throw or what, what it exactly was, but what pushed him into being and like showing up today in the way he did? I mean, I think P Phoenix has been playing pretty well this season, but it just, when your team loses, right, everyone just looks worse. So when we're able to iron out, like all of our strategical flaws, we're able to like showcase how good he is 1v1. Like if he's 1v1 with no pressure mid, he will like wreck any mid laner in LCS. Like, like <laughs> even even like the top mid laners like Bjergsen will not be able to roll over him, which is something that like Bjergsen can roll over like pretty much every mid laner in the LCS. But mechanically, I think Phoenix is like s as sound as you can get. Now this marks the 11th game in a row that Team Liquid has beat CLG. Switching over to the games between Gravity and Team Impulse, people seem to have high expectations for Gravity to win. However, this was not the case. Team Impulse managed to steamroll through Gravity with an impressive 3-1 victory. Cobb was in fact the only Gravity member to go positive, but you know how it is when Gravity's involved. It's a lot harder to carry. When asking Zhao Wei Zhao about his only loss, he told us a page out of Piglet's past. Like Mastery Page! Get it? After the first game, I just removed the Mastery and the when the, the second game is begin, I just I'm thinking just this is the same champion. I don't need to change the math math history. Or oh, when, when the game is began, I just we are in game. I just see my AP oh, is something wrong. I just <laughs> my HP is something wrong. I just oh my god, holy <laughs> shit! I have no math math history, so <laughs> I need to just calm down. I just take it easy. <laughs> Despite his one massive, gigantic overbearing mistake, he managed to bring it home in the next few games. He got to show off his ever-growing champion pool. Or should I say blood pool? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> However, there's more. Now when interviewing Zhao, he said that Vlad wasn't a part of the plan. It was a pick to steal away from gravity. Initially, he had a different champion in mind for the best of five. Zhao was in fact planning on playing Twisted Fate. But in a twist of fate, they managed to ban the ace up his sleeve that was only revealed in scrims. Get it? That was like, that was like three puns in there. All right, I'm done with this, honestly. Somehow, Gravity heard of the secret pick and then banned it. Every single game. And though there's been no word of a leaker, I'll be watching for you. Like a hawk. Speaking of watching, it's time to switch over to some EU news. Perfect. After Elements landed in a devastating 7th place, Reckless decided it would be more beneficial to seek victory elsewhere. Though this hasn't been set in stone, the Daily Dot mentions that the owner of Elements stated, I cannot confirm nor deny the move. We're not sure where Reckless may go, but we do recall Fnatic saying they'll always have their doors open for him. Now this could be a step in the right direction, since Tab was on their starting roster when they scored a first place seed last split. However, it gets worse. Not only is Reckless planning on leaving, but after a disappointing score of 7-11 this split, two other members are thinking of making the big move. This may be up in the air, but Frog and Sun duo queuing with Dexter, the former jungler for CLG, possibly due to replace Shook. If this is the case, hopefully we all get a chance to see Dexter shine after his lackluster performance on CLG. Elements will be down to their mid laner Froggen and Crapo as their support. With Tabs and possibly Dexter joining the team, could this be the formation of a reborn alliance? Or will the rogue elements bury this gaming house for good? Fate seems wicked for this team, but hopefully the wary roster doesn't feel too... shook. Um... Dexter. Now back to the superior NA. Recently, a team named Elo Mingle was formed, consisting of many past members of TSM Darkness. 
For those of you that don't know, TSM Darkness is a Challenger Series team that got caught up in a lot of controversy. In late March, Teaser, the AD carry of TSM Darkness, released scrim footage between Darkness and CLG Black to Team Fusion just a week before Fusion was to play against Black. It is speculated that because of Teaser teasing the CLG scrims to Fusion, TSM dropped the sponsorship. Or it could also be due to the fact that TSM Darkness has an unimpressive score of 1-7 in the NA Challenger Series. But their contracts weren't set to expire until April 21st, 2015. Which hasn't happened yet. Because of TSM breaking their contract, players Ron and Indivisible have stated that they're planning on taking legal action. Not much news has been released since, but they did just start a team named ELO Mingle. Whether your goal is to become a top team in NA or just to set up high ELO singles, I hope you do great. And hopefully once again you guys won't be left in the dark. Which brings us to our guest, the jungler for ELO Mingle and the guy who's a big fan of everything you do, it's Short Race. On Skype. Hi Short Race and welcome to Map Awareness. You are currently on ELO Mingle, so tell me how that came about and what's going on with you guys right now. Uh, so like, she some darkness, asked me a while ago to like try out for the team and they, and they liked me so they wanted to like use me and since TSM dropped them from the roster, we just needed a name. Nobody like really wanted to pick a name, so um, my the manager wanted to do like Eagle Mingo, who was really it was really like troll. Like he bought like a redirect. For, <laughs> like if you like type in your browser EagleMingo.com, it redirects my stream. So That's it was funny. just a really troll name, so <laughs> we just picked it because nobody else wanted to pick anything. And what's your opinion on the whole TSM darkness thing that just happened with the whole scrim reveal? Do you think that it was justified for them to get dropped? I mean, it's 100% justified, like, it is pretty bad what they kind of did, and it's like really bad PR for the organization in general, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it's really justified. Being a challenger player, I know you've subbed in for pros before, so tell me about the difference in lifestyle for a challenger to a pro. It's kind of a lot harder to be like a challenger player because you have to like sync your schedules and everything, and with LCS teams, like, they're, it's all like right there, you guys are in a house together, you can practice at the same time everything you can even like watch replays together it's kind of harder to do it as like a challenger team and like finding the right players in general is it harder to get people to take it more seriously and keep people focused yeah some players like <laughs> don't, just don't take it that as seriously but like when you're in a house together you're gonna have to take it seriously or else people are gonna be mad at you playoffs so how did you feel about how CLG did against Team Liquid yeah, CLG looked so strong like in the early seasons I, I actually thought It'd be CLG 3 owing, but I think I a didn't, lot of people did. I didn't expect it to be like just a stomp again. Like it was like last year, like the same exact teams. History, I thought CLG would do really well. History is repeating itself for them really bad. Everyone expected them to do well, and Hotshot's always saying like, "This is our year. We finally have our team comp that we want." I remember watching them play against TSM, and they like completely like stomp them early on, but then it just looks really sad the way they played. Gravity vs. Team Impulse was really interesting um, because Zhao didn't even have masteries in the only game that they got off of them. So how do you feel about that whole situation? It's, it's kind of like, the masteries are like a big thing, but they played really well in game too. Like, yeah. But it's kind of hard for like, I think Zhao, Zhao was playing against Vlad that game. Mm -hmm. Was he playing Vlad? He was playing Vlad yeah. against this. Yeah, he's not going to do any damage without like, the masteries. It's yeah. kind of rough. Yeah. Did but, you expect them to win? Yeah, like Tiff has been on like a hot streak lately. Like they've been destroying teams. Like they, I think they lost to Dunatas, but like they, they were playing out of their minds the first, like the weeks before playoffs. Gravity has been looking really good too, though, to be honest. Since your team doesn't have a full roster yet, how do you guys manage to practice together? We're just kind of like doing solo queue, doing queuing and stuff. Like there's not much you can really do until you have a full roster in Scrum. So yeah, we kind of just play together sometimes. Well, Shorter Ace, thank you for coming here on Map Awareness. If you guys like this video, make sure to check out more content at skgaming.com. And follow Shorter Ace on Twitter because he's awesome. See you next time. Ciao. Bye.